Apple Video's leaked fingerprint proof glass and the other components we're expecting to see in 2019's iPhones. Let's get this Apple Core started. Another week, another leak. And this time it's Apple's own repair videos for the iPhone X and MacBooks that appeared briefly on YouTube for the world to see. According to Motherboard, the videos were originally posted on Twitter, but when that account was suspended, they were uploaded to YouTube by user Arman Haji, and then taken down within 24 hours of that. So now his page looks like this. Safe to say someone didn't want them seen. How do we know this is actually Apple's videos and not just some guy posing as Carlos from Apple, you may ask? Well, we don't really. But according to Motherboard, the repair tools used in this video are proprietary to Apple. They also show how well third-party repair shops like iFixit have been able to reverse engineer repairs for Apple products like the iPhone X and MacBooks shown in this video. Apple has long pushed in-house repairs for all its products, making it increasingly difficult for users to fix their own devices, even applying software patches to keep third-party repair shops out. Apple is also notoriously secretive about its suppliers. And when it comes to the glass on the iPhone X, the only thing the company was able to tell us was that it's the strongest glass ever made in an iPhone. This glass is the most durable ever in a smartphone. Which turns out is not all that strong. And a repair could cost up to $500. So here's hoping that the new iPhones are covered in Gorilla Glass 6. Corning just announced its sixth generation Gorilla Glass, which is supposed to survive repeated drops from pocket height onto rough surfaces. They say 15 times, but I wasn't able to test it, so that's DVD. Now, we couldn't get a straight answer from Corning either as to which phones will have this glass, but the company did say we can expect to see it in devices before the end of the year. So iPhone 10 Plus, iPhone 9, we will never know because nobody will ever tell us. But beyond this year's iPhones, we may see the return of the matte black option in 2019 iPhones. Corning has already developed a matte glass option that would make the unsightly fingerprints that decorate the screens on a lot of our phones a lot harder to see. And that larger screen on the rumored Apple Watch Series 4 may be much less reflective. Corning also showed us this new DX Plus composite glass for wearables, which would make glass less reflective and prevent scratching. Apple also has a history of using Sony cameras on its iPhones, which is why Sony's newest 48 megapixel image sensor is a very big deal in the smartphone world. It's got the highest megapixel count and the most compact pixel size of any camera of its kind, according to Sony. Just look at the scary amount of detail in this image of the cruise liner. This means digital zoom would get that much better. Now, as we know, higher megapixel count does not always translate into better photos, especially for low light. But Sony has factored this into their sensors and added better low light capabilities as well. The better sensor plus Apple's own image processing software could make for a killer camera in the next iPhones, though we probably will have to wait until 2019 iPhones to see this become a reality. And the final potential supplier we'll be looking at is Qualcomm. Sure, the company has been in multiple legal battles with Apple over patent licenses, among other things, but that may not stop Apple from having to use them for yet another one of their parts, a 5G antenna module small enough to fit into a phone. The promise of an ultra-fast 5G network has been looming over the tech world for a few years now, but up until now, no one had been able to make an antenna small enough to fit into a smartphone and good enough to transmit over long ranges. Seriously, it was just a year ago that Qualcomm's own 5G antenna module was so big it had to be wheeled around in its own cart. In comes the QTM052 millimeter wave antenna module. It's the size of a penny and alongside Qualcomm's Snapdragon X50 5G, could make download time up to 100 times faster. That means your full season of Game of Thrones in seconds. Now the chip is said to be coming to hotspots by the end of this year and in 2019 smartphones. Whether that means iPhones is TBD given the strained relationship, but the bigger issue here would be if they will have the network to support it. 
With less than two months from the official iOS 12 release, we are still discovering new features, and this time it relates to the HomePod. According to a private beta release first reported by French site iGeneration, Apple's smart speaker could be getting call support and multiple timers features users have been waiting for since its launch. Now, just to clarify, Apple has a public beta, a developer's beta, and now a private beta. According to the 9to5Mac report, the private beta is only released to Apple corporate and some retail employees, which means we may not actually see this update in the official iOS 12 launch. But when we do, Siri on the HomePod could be able to make calls and read your voicemails or partake in group FaceTime audio calls. The only way to do this currently is to initiate the call on your iPhone and then have to switch audio output. The HomePod would also be able to find your iPhone and have multiple timers going at the same time for things like cooking anything beyond a hard-boiled egg. Stronger glass, 48 megapixel camera, or 5G connectivity, which of these three features do you most want to see in the next iPhones? Leave your comment below or hit me up on Twitter. And remember to like and subscribe before you leave.